The following is a presentation of TFNN. Now, 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 TFNN opens the door to the future. Larry Pesavento, systems analyst, is your tour guide into the market futures. Want to see into the future? Well, climb aboard Larry's time machine and come with us. Larry takes your phone calls. Now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. This is the Futures Hour. Here's your host, Larry Pesavento. Hi, folks. We're ba uh, back, but this time I'm doing Larry's show. So it should be, uh, uh, this is the, well, the future's hour, but in fact, uh, I'm sitting in for Larry Pesavento, Basil Chapman here. Usually I'm doing my Tiger Technician's Hour at 11 o'clock till 12 every uh, weekday, every market day. And uh, I've been sitting in for Larry while he's been away. So uh, my pleasure to be here at this time. And I want to go through a number of different things. But I uh, let me just also tell you, my service is called the opening call. That is a daily, a very comprehensive look at the markets every single day, give the parameters, what we're looking for, how we can use certain things like the volatility index, short-term trading index, the trend um, where the parameters are, how I use the 120-minute chart, the Chapman wave is the waveform that never sleeps, so every every wiggle gets a, a wave count either up or down, and etc. I've also developed something that I call a price time expansion. This is very similar. I wanted to bring it in now because it's very similar to uh, Larry's always talked about the um, A to B equals C to D. When he's looking for Gartley's or, uh, or butterfly patterns, what I came up with was quite a while ago, but I didn't realize the importance of it until I started doing a lot more work with it. And I like to test things out for, for months before I actually put it into practice and discuss it publicly. Actually, sometimes it's, it's years. This actually goes on for a couple of years. And it's the price time extension. And I spend a little time. Uh, during my last uh, Master Trader series and also on, on the show here uh, about, oh, I, I can't, time flies, so maybe it was two months ago, maybe maybe more. But I was looking at a one-to-one -one expansion um, based on this methodology. And what it does is I simply, I'll just do this right now. I've got the uh, Dow up right at this moment. It's trading at 100, uh, 179 points down at 16,433. And what I do is, I take a most a price of a low of significance and I draw it in the Chapman wave to the to a peak that is usually a peak D or F or where I've got a down arrow because I've got a sell signal that went to a sell mode. And in this particular instance, um I'm not gonna do it exactly right because I'm doing it parallel. So I'll do it over here just to show you what I did. Um and then in this case what I would do is because I've got to find the right one. Right there, that's the one. Take that button. If looking at Tiger TV, I, I've already drawn it in pink to show you the A to B equals to D. But most importantly, I'm just showing you how I do it because of this uh, in, in Trade Station, it's just an easy to. There's new parallel. I just go click, and there it is. And then I find the most obvious lowest low, the next low after that peak D, and I do a should move to the upside. So I just wanted to explain that. And now that I've done it, let me tell you what I'm what I'm looking at. This is the move from back in um, October of 2002 with the Dow's at 7,197. Has a very, a very strong move up to 10,984. And uh, so 10,984, that's about 1,800 points. In March of 2005, it makes a top at a peak D in the Chapman wave. All I've done is I've taken the lowest, most, most identifiable low bar. And I've gone to each successively higher peak. You've got to make sure that they peak. See, this one here looked like a peak right here. My eye says that it's not. It's either parallel or slightly lower. So the down went to 9352.77. The next bar, uh, that was uh, June of 2003. July goes to 6140. So it's three points, uh, three, four points higher. That's what you're going to be able to see. So you can't make a peak until right there. And then it's C and then it's D. Now what's interesting is it pulls back and you've got this measured move. See, it's an exact diagonal move. If I've got a move of, where's my protractor? Ah, I always put these things in. Now. It's one of those, I put it into an area that constantly gets filled up again. 
with new stuff. All right, my protractor is not. You should have been right in front of me because if once in a while I like to grab it. I wish I had a tool. I keep asking Trade Station if they would do it. Uh, just make a move, make it, make a trend line that has percentages. I'd love to do that work that that uh, that uh, that Larry does um, with uh, six one eight. But anyway, I can find my protractor. Otherwise, I would have told you that this looks very much like it's a forty three degree, forty two degree angle, and it's an exact same angle. So what this does is doesn't just give you an extension in price; it gives you the time, and it went to within one bar over a period of October of 2002 to October of 2007. That's um, five years, there's 60 bars, is that correct? Yeah, 60 months. And look, it missed it by one month, and there's the doji calendar, peak F. So A to B equaled almost exactly in price and time C to D. So there's a difference because this is a, a diagonal trend line that I'm using, ex a price extension. Wait a minute. The Dow pulls back from 14,198 down to 64.59 in March of 2009. Remember, that's the very day, the actual day of the low. We went along the diamonds and held that for about 18 months. Now look what's happened. You go from an A to a B at peak D, May of 2011, at 12,876. Pull back, very quick snap back, and then what happens? You make a parallel move that went to the price within, I'd say, within about 30 to 40 points. Actually, no, with the recent high, it's almost exactly to the level that we would be looking at. A to B equals C to D. But we've had to wait for this cup formation to form, which is not unlike that little cup formation there, except it extended and didn't quite go so high on the bounce. That was back in uh, July, August uh, of um, October of 2007 and there was one with the right shoulder failure over there in 2011 this one went a nominal new high and that nominal new high in the monthly chart is in fact ooh leg E now it might have recycled to a brand new E slash B I'm not even thinking that right now I'm thinking now be very careful this could turn into a, a top of consequence in price and time, I don't know. I've got the parallel, actually, this bottom parallel line I drew in a while back. This one, I've just added now because I think we've got a, a, at least a confirmation that of the best places to be able to put this trend line, declining trend line, this is probably the time. Because if it breaks above, it breaks to a new high, something else is going on in, in, in the Dow that, that's very important because it could turn into a very high level consolidation with no going no more then to the low that was made just three months ago of 16,015, I think it was. Uh, 15,340, sorry, 15,340. Um, and so we're watching that and watching that red line, which is a nine-period exponential moving average. So I thought I'd explain to you that there's a technique that I've been using that says, and I've got it in almost all the in indexes. Look at this. This is, uh, this is the, if I can find it. The S&P I've got, but I haven't got it in front of me. He has a New York Stock Exchange. Look, the New York Stock Exchange has extended in price. I mean, sorry, it has extended in time, but not yet in price. And that price from the A to the B equals C to D takes you to round about, oops, round about 10,888. 10, just 300 points away from where we are right now, 10,529. So I needed to go through that just to explain that there are many techniques that say that this is the area of my greatest concern. And um, now let's go back to the nitty gritties. I wanted to talk about, this is a futures hour, so I'm going to talk about, let me just get this out of the way here, that in the, how can I do this so that you can see what I'm doing? Um, yeah, let me first just go to the E-minis. The E-minis are trading right now down 18, down 24 at 1860. And that had an alternate count that was an F slash C, and now it's a peak, uh, it's almost certainly an F. You cannot have a C with a, with a pullback. No, the day's young. You could, 
but it looks very much like this is going to be a peak F. Chapman wave methodology, peak F is going to be where you've got to take things seriously. That six highest peak can very often turn out to be the deepest price and time correction that you, you have in quite a while. If you look at the 120-minute chart, look at that perfect peak D top at 1898.50. Right there. Look at the way at that particular point the stochastic and MACD were turning down try to retest re the highs and the stochastic and MACD were horrible. What has it done? It's gone right through. Now, I, let me explain something. This is the left side, right side price time match, a technique that I developed a long time ago. In my CD introducing the Japan Wave methodology, um, the uh, right side. That is uh, in the arch formation or the cup formation, uh, when you get just go to chapter 13. It'll just be easier to show you exactly what I'm looking at here. Chapter 13, right here. In this case, it's the arch. You see that the midpoint, that plumb line in the middle, was the, it, on the way up. It took exactly the same amount of time to come down. Yet, you, in your mind's eye, you always say, oh, you come down way quicker than you go up. You know what? In the average... I would say only in crash mode does that happen. Look, we've just done exactly the same thing. From the 1867.50 low in the E-minis back on uh, the, at 12 o'clock on the 9th of May, you went up to, I'll put the date, um, this is the 11th of May at noon. So it's almost to the minute, uh, what, 11th of May, 5.11. And what does it do? It comes down. This is the left side. To that exact plumb line. I, I just love it. doesn't happen all that often because sometimes you have to use another technique to get your plumb line. Look at this. Look at this. You've got, look at that spectacular 120 minute bar. That looks like that one over the downside. So it can happen on the upside as well. So you can have rocket ships and you can have water cascades. And in this case, you're just about to make a trough C in exactly the price time match from the left side to the plumb line high of 11th of, of, of May to today, which is the May the 15th. And, and what happened? It went under it. And that says that in this bar, in the arch formation, in the Chapman Wave methodology, in this particular technique that I've developed, click to there. And this technique to here, that arch formation says that the bar that takes out the left side low of consequence needs to be the bar within one bar. You have to snap back, get back above that to show that there's any strength at all. And that means you've got to get back to 1867.50. I'll be right back. Back to chapter sitting in for Larry Pesavento, 877-927-668. Love to take your calls. I was down out of night. Guess it's done. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Wouldn't it be great if you could get a red light, green light indicator that gives you signals on 25 different future contracts? Now you can with Taz Signal Box. This red light, green light market profile system dynamically updates 24 hours a day and provides you with important trend and trade signals on nine different commodities, nine different indices, and eight different currencies. Right now, you can receive a free two-week trial to Taz Signal Box. 
For all the details and to find out how the signal box works, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Andy Heck's powerful weekly newsletter, The Technomental Commodity Report, has delivered multiple triple-digit winning trades in recent months. And right now's the perfect time to get a full month long trial to Andy's newsletter with no obligation to pay anything. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you'll lock in the low rate of only $59 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investments, and whether you're bullish or bearish on Chinese stocks, the ETFs from Direction Shares are there to help you magnify your perspective. Bull ETFs for a rising market and bear ETFs for a falling market. Direction Shares gives you the tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Larry takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, back to the Futures Hour. Hi, uh, folks. So we're back. Let me just quickly finish this thought because the truth that you're looking at, 120-minute chart, peak D top at 11th of May at 1898.3. Plunge right through the left side low bar of that uh, 10th, I think it is, a uh, low of 1867.50. This is the bar within two bars at least. You've got to bounce right back into the 1867.50 area. Oh, it's not going to be good. So that's it. And now I've got a couple of questions in the den, but I'm first going to go to Michael in Lakeland, Florida. Hi, Michael. How are you? Good. I've noticed a little trading range set up in uh, HOV between like 4, uh, uh, 4.43 and like... Um, uh, you know, about 465, 470, yeah, right. Yeah. right? Right, now, right in there. It's, let, let me just give okay. one little warning right here. All right. When the tide changes, it takes down. That's one of the reasons why all the longs that we had today, I raise the stops. We're taking profits on whatever we have to take profits on. And anything that rises, like one of our stocks, the only one that's left on the long side, is up uh, quite nicely considering the situation in the market. So when the tide changes, you know, I often talk about when you throw a piece of driftwood into the water, if the tide is going out, there's no way that driftwood can come back onto shore. If the tide is coming in, you've got to be, ca be careful if you're expecting to throw it and have it go out because it's just going to keep washing to the shore. This is the tide that is really important right now. The day is young, but having failed every single attempt to rally at this particular point, might be options related, it might be a number of factors. I think that this is where bad news is starting to filter in. And for the first time, you've got the VIX waking up and saying, hey, whoa, what, what, what's going on here? I'm up $1.45 uh, at 1365. This is the first sign that the VIX is up. So I'm just going to say that I, 
I've been watching uh, uh, Lenar, uh, BZH, um, Hovnanian, which is what you're looking at, HOV. Yep. I, I have exactly the same emotional and visual perspective that you have right now. That, that, that cushion, that trampoline cushion has been absolutely remarkable. But tide is going to be the most important thing. So you're thinking of maybe, are you in already, or are you thinking of hopping in for I'll a think, trade? Thinking for of hopping about. in, and also I, I just figured, well, since the market's getting so hammered and it's still, you know, it's kind of holding still at the 440 range that uh, the, um, you know, it, it, it seems, this seems to be a pretty, pretty solid number right there. You see, in terms of timing, if you and I are looking at exactly the same thing, which says that if there's going to be a bounce at all today, that bounce should start coming in in this afternoon, and it should follow through in the morning. I suspect that you're right, that this is one of those times that that test, the one, two, three, four, five, six, this is the sixth test of the 440s area uh, in Hovnanian, trading at 4.43 down, 0 0.08, which sounds like very little, but it's actually 1.77%. So my, my thinking, and it's gone to a C, but I'm looking more at the pattern that goes to an H, that goes to an M, and then, this is the one that i got to watch out for, the third time, which this will be the third time, is when there's a chance that it breaks to a lower low before it bounces back. Right. So your risk, you, you see what I'm saying here, that right, the right, risk right. is that this time it doesn't do, do what it it has done almost every other time. It actually dips underneath scarce that data I said, everyone, and then comes back for a nice bounce. That's number one. Number two is, I'm I'm a little, I'm a little nervous at this point going long, almost anything, and the reason being is that in this tidal wave to the downside, and it's pretty powerful. I can tell you that. It's taking the good down with the bad. And right now, Hovnanian is not one of the good. It just says, I've been in a trading ban. So I'm just going to recommend, Michael, that you that you temper it a little bit. If you want to do it, I'm just going to grab the 120-minute chart. Time-wise, everything-wise, if it's going to work at all, this is kind of within another... Well, it's trying to get to to, to the 52-week low, you know, the, the 430. Right. And it keeps so I'm saying that, that you know, it almost got it at the 441 today, you know. Correct. But the the weekly chart is still very got no strength whatsoever at 7 percent. So we'd only be playing a bounce. If you had to ask my opinion about whether it's appropriate, I'm going to say to you, it's just risky. But if you put in a really tight stop, for instance, I would put in a stop of cents if I put it in at all, because if it's going to break down, it'll go under today's low of 440. Um, and that would be negative. I was thinking negative. like 4, 439, but, you know, you're talking about longer term, and longer term I'm talking about just, just you know, the next year. Uh, with the interest rates going so low, I mean, people are going to be more open uh, to buying no, houses. Be, I, hold on. I'll talk to you about that. we got a break coming on. I think I'm going to see certain things. I'll be right back. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. 
Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's n a d e x.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. No matter where you listen to TFNN programming, we want you to know you can always access your favorite shows on demand through TFNN.com. TFNN airs live programming every market day from 9 a.m. till 6 p.m. Eastern. And you can view each program by accessing Tiger TV through our homepage. We even have an easy link for all mobile devices, including iPhones and iPads, located at the top right-hand corner of the TFNN homepage. You can't use your smartphone to view Tiger TV, but if you don't have a mobile connection that can keep up with streaming live video, then you can simply visit TFNN.mobile in the browser of your smartphone for live streaming audio of all of our programs. The mission of TFNN is to educate our audience directly and interactively through our interactive website and radio call and talk shows. TFNN is able to teach all levels of investors the technical skills needed to trade in today's marketplace. In order to get the best information possible, TFNN has assembled the most respected financial minds in the country to provide the most current news and comprehensive advice available. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Now, back to the Futures Hour. Hi, folks. This is Chapman Singh for Larry Pesavento in the Futures Hour, and we're looking at Hovnanian, and we've got a caller on the line who's uh, interested in looking at it, but more as a bounce that takes a couple of weeks to unfold and going from the low range of the 440s up towards the 465, maybe 470 area. And each time in the 120-minute chart, there's just been a perfect peak D, and now it's a perfect peak E with a pullback. You know, I'm I'm hesitant to act to stop you, and I'm also hesitant to give you a, a, a advice other than to say, uh, in this market with these two very serious uh, sell-offs in the last two days. If ever there was a time for a bounce, there should be a bounce. This, or if, if there is going to be, it has to be this afternoon into tomorrow, especially with options aspiration. And all I can say is that if you got in now, personally, I would put a stop pretty tight, uh, 444, I'd make it like 398. And that bounce in the 120-minute chart, you need to see by, the, by later this afternoon, a bounce that takes you to test the nine period moving average of 451. Wow, if we can do that, I think you've got yourself a nice trade because it could bounce if tomorrow is an up day rather than a down day. I hope that helps you, Michael. Thank you very much. I was thinking of long term too, you know, with the election. Yeah, I, you know, I'm going to can't dropping. go there long term and I have to tell you why. I'm looking at the home builders and I think there's more downside to come, especially if I, look, I can't pull up the chart right now. The chart of wood, which is the lumber, there are a couple of things that are saying to me, just at this particular time, we might be looking at more downside before housing can have a good snapback. So that's the way I'm looking at So I would go step by step. If you got in and traded at 4, 4.55 by Friday afternoon and then 
or 60 on, on, on Monday, I think you've got yourself exactly what you're talking about, a balance for a stock that can go from the 120 minute to the daily and then the weekly. I hope that helps you. Yeah, I appreciate it very much. I buy a lot of shares, so I'm really only looking like you're talking about for, you know, the 10 cents. Is, is and I would, and I would just not think intermediate term. I'd go shorter term, and I, I'd, I'd, I'd scale in, and I'd put a stop real tight. Hey, good luck with us, Michael. Thank you. Thanks for calling. Let's go to Ben in Tallahassee. Hi, Ben. How are you? Hey, we both are great. Thank you. Well, I guess uh, I've, maybe I've been in the S&P 500 camp too long, and I was looking at it, uh, the market more uh, too positive over the next uh, few weeks. Is it possible that uh, that it is actually a peak F or G based on a previous uh, taken taken off a previous uh, letter count? Of, it it is. That's what I was talking about before, and I'm going to show it right here. And especially, especially since it only went five points higher than the all-time high of the 4th of April. If, in fact, well, so far the price movement that I'm looking at says there's a really good chance. But day is young. I'm looking at a daily chart. I have to wait till 4 o'clock. And if by today or tomorrow the low of today of 1862 is taken out, then absolutely you have to consider that it's a G slash C and that with a greater uh, a great emphasis on a G. Everything about what I'm looking at, especially with the Dow. See, the Dow may be E. When it made the E, I said, all we can do is go to an N and it will be nominally higher. So we wanted to issue, uh, I wanted to issue a report that said, we're going to go short because this is what we're looking at and we'll for the fairly wide stop. So that's worked out really well up until now. If there is going to be a move to the upside from here, that volatility index has to go back out of 13, back into the 12s. Bonds need to pull back. They're at leg C, and that says it should still go to D, so it needs to, I don't know how it's going to work out, but it needs to pull back pretty soon by early next week, and the dollar needs to fail. And if those things come together and it allows for a reflex rally that takes right. the S&P above 1882, that's that's now that's very far. It wasn't before, but that's 17 points. If it can do that, and it can do it by tomorrow afternoon because it's options expiration, and it's the opportunity to do it, that's different. Now, let me ask you from the tone of your voice. It's I'm I'm detecting that there are positions that you held a little longer than you would have because you thought there would still be one more flourish to the upside. Yeah, Is well, I'd be honest with you, being, you know, 500 stocks, of course, I know the New York Stock Exchange has several more, but I, right. I you know, I guess I guess my, my mental state was just so focused on the S&P 500 being in uh, in a uh, peak C right. um, that I didn't, and of course, I get your, I subscribe to your newsletter that I didn't, I I was, my stubborn mule side uh, said, you know what, let's wait until this, this uh, S&P makes a, a peak D or a leg D, and then I'll start shorting the market, but... Uh, um, yeah, so I missed, <laughs> missed uh, uh, some of your great uh, recommendations this morning. So just, so you know, I was just thinking well, let, let, me, let me just do a couple of things. First of all, it has pulled back, but we're still only 3% or maximum, it depends which index you're looking at, 4% off the all-time highs. Right. It says to me that at some point in the next few days, there should be a bounce, it takes us back into probably the middle of the candle, at least that we're looking at now in the S&P. And that says maybe 1882 is going to be asking too much, but there should be a bounce that could take you to 1875, which is 10, maybe 12 points. So it's about a bounce in the Dow of 130, maybe 140 points. It doesn't say it's definitely going to happen, but there's a midpoint in this entire trading range that we're looking at where 1883 is... For the S and P, it's been real kind of a, a fulcrum where it could it went higher, but it kept coming back down. But when it went down, it still came back to 1883. So this is what I'm going to recommend: in any position that you have right now, if it's underwater or if you're in positions that are up but they're not as up as they were just two days ago, I'm going to suggest that as we get closer to that level. And I'm only saying this because my weekly and the monthly charts are suggesting very strongly that while looking out so far, the technicals are very good. There is an underpinning of weakness. 
and that underpinning of weakness will accelerate if that vol if bad news comes in later uh, early next week it will impact this market but you know that uh, I, there's uh, someone just in the break someone sent me a, a fabulous it looks like a terrific uh, email um, and it has to do uh, he said um, um, here's the graphic reason behind the small monthly price gains you spoke of on the today's show and, and it, very quickly when I glanced at it what it said is there's not enough money to keep this going there's, you need billions to keep this going and we're running out of, of available money in funds I believe that's what it said <clears throat> so I'm looking at this and I'm saying geez, everything I'm looking at says be careful be careful um, so it's a matter of extricating yourself and then maybe setting up those short positions so there are two ways to do it. One is you could start even now. The VIX is still just barely, barely begun to move. So you could maybe start a smaller move, a smaller position than you had would have done before, just as protection on the on the on the on the volatility sure. index. Sure. Now it's a horrible instrument because it only, as we know, it only really oh, yeah. moves. Um, it, it only moves significantly when um, it's got to when be this, perfectly when timed. The, yeah, when the bad news really filters in. Now I'm yeah. about to move this chart away because I want to look at my overview to see if I can get it. There was a beautiful peak D in the 120-minute chart of the Dow. We're in a huge leg B up in the volatility index. That is one of the biggest moves we've had up in a single day. But the, the day is young. But at least is this it, bar is, is very well, strong. Is it, is, it, is it possible to give a level in the, either the SPY or the S&P 500 where you could say, okay, if it gets full this level, I confirm that this thing... Only yes. made a peak, peak C, and that's it in a daily. Okay, let me just do that. I just want, I'm so pleased I did this because I needed to look at my, my, my Chapman Wave Chin Gauge. My Chapman Wave Chin Gauge says that if I'm correct analyzing this the way I always do, it should be within one to two sessions a very strong move in the S&P futures of about seven to nine points. But, of course, 7 to 9 points when you're down 20-something is not such a big yeah. deal. Yeah. But it does say but, but at least it's not for the downside. Yeah. Right. So, so, so it says at least it's for the upside. So yeah. I'm going to do this. So yeah, let me give you parameters right now before we run out of time. In the S&P, I, I, I would normally say a close, but I don't really care about the close, even with the balance. If the S&P breaks under the low of the 7th of uh, May, that was a low of 1859, my technique says it's really unlikely that that's a peak C. It's probably a peak G. And I have to consider that we will not go and test that high. That's number one. Number two, if there is a bounce later today or maybe it's tomorrow, maybe overnight something happens or maybe it's Monday, whatever it is, and the bounce takes you to the 1881 to 1883 level, that's going to be very critical in my work because I'm going to have to watch to see is the volatility uh, index moving down or is it holding steady? If it's holding steady, it says, uh-uh, don't believe this uh, because my, uh, I've got sun pressure. That's really what it's saying. Volatility index for me only says selling pressure or buying pressure. So here's the issue. For you to think of uh, the S&P having a decent rally, the rally has to preferably not take out today's low, but let me look at the 120-minute chart. In the S&P, you need to see it go to 1872, preferably this afternoon or early tomorrow morning. Does that use up the VIX, uh, the, the Chapman Wave Trin gauge? To a certain extent, it might. But if there's a decent rally in the morning with options expiration, you could even get a pop-up in the early morning. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say to you, watch the 1873 level. If the S&P is able to climb above that, that's this arch formation that had a, so far a successful test um, in the 120-minute chart, but if I go to the E-mini, that's actually broken below the left side low bar. I'm inclined to go with the E-mini, which trades almost all day and night, and say that's the one. I don't know if you follow the futures, but if you follow the E-mini, I would have to put it at about, oh, I, I want to see a test of the 200 E-mini at 1875. So 1872, 1873 on the E-minis, that's a really good action. That says that tomorrow you could get a nice little flourish early in the morning, then we've got to be careful. 
That's where I would Good. say to you, I was just going to say that you could, you could even implement some kind of a VIX, like a little nibble here at, the, at what I had for the VIX, and then maybe add to it. But that's not my favorite uh, tool. I would go to number two on my list in my opening call. Uh, yep, yeah, I'd go to my number two, and I would say that's the one that I want to be in, and I would just start a position on that. That's 200%, um, and that would be on the short side. That's the one I'd be looking at because the VIX index – could be a fantastic tool, and I advise you to have some of it, but it's the one that only really works when you're going to that climactic low, which could be, mm -hmm. who knows, weeks away, and then that VIX index could be flying up in the 23, 25 area. That's when you're today's, ready. Otherwise, today's, action, <clears throat> today's action really did potentially change your outlook on, on when the uh, potential double-digit decline is going to happen. I... I the action that we just saw today, yes. Yeah. That that okay. says to me, that's kind of that's that's what you see in a bear phase, where any kind of news just triggers more and more selling. Now that right. selling's just quieting down. There's a little bit of a breather. If later on it, it picks up again, that's really negative. I, I I just have a feeling on the very short term that most of it is done for now, especially with options expiration. You might have the really clever players starting to get some calls and they're going to play that side. I don't know. It's really complicated. But sure. I've got the, my Chapman Wave trend gauge says, watch out. Within one to two sessions, there could be a pretty sharp move in the futures, which should affect the cash index. Great. Yeah, so thank you very much. Thank you so much for calling, Ben. Always good to hear from you. So thank Ben you. and Tyler Astor, we were looking at the S&P and discussing a possible bounce and what you can do in the bounce, and that the chances are – really increasing that the, the, the top that we saw in the Dow and the NYSE, let me just show you the NYSE, NYSE, uh, NYA.X, that's how I get it. Whoa, peak D top, very sharp pullback. And there, there's that peak C in the, in the weekly. I don't know how to explain it. All I can say is I don't know how to explain it. I'm going step by step, and the daily is the issue. If the NYA breaks 10,500, that's really negative. But if it bounces tomorrow, it could bounce towards the 10,570 area. We'll see. So, okay, now there are a couple of quick questions. Apple, AAPL, there we go. Apple is holding very well, but I'm seeing the upside is very limited now. And that upside says, yep, you could make that D uh, in the day above 604.41, um, but it'll be negated because that was a, a, a news-related gap to the upside, so that can fail at a peak C. I've seen that happen before. Um, right now it's making just a beautiful oval pattern, and it just makes it real clear. A close in Apple below 580.33, very negative. A close above yesterday's high, of 597.40, positive says you could still pop up to a leg D in Apple. Um, and the question of LVS was LVS. Oh, we've got a break. Oh, no, this is it. Yep, that's it for me, folks. So LVS, don't touch it. I think it's going much lower. Don't even touch it. That's Las Vegas said. Folks, thank you for being here. I'll be back tomorrow, my usual time, 11 o'clock to 12. Check my opening call out. And thanks for being here. There will be music played. I have to finish 10 minutes early. And then after that, you've got Daryl Martin. So stay tuned. 12 minutes time, 14 minutes. You'll have someone new. Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. The diagnostic box spread analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex Box Spreads.
Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. We're told to follow our passion and everything else will fall into place. I hope that's what each of you are doing each and every day. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Money Masters Show at TFN.com, and my passion for technical analysis is what led me to the most fundamental discovery in pattern recognition, the Rhodes Momentum Indicator, market scanner and trading strategy. A set of tools that identify the momentum and power of the trend, the likes of which have never been seen before for every market and every time frame. Yes, folks, the trend is your friend, unless you're on the other side. New to technical analysis? This is the place to start. And experienced traders, take advantage of the trend like never before. Experience the power of the Rhodes Momentum Indicator each day, available to subscribers of my newsletter service, Mastering Probability. I guarantee your satisfaction for the next 30 days unconditionally, so there's no risk to you other than being on the wrong side of the trend. Mastering Probability, available on the homepage of TFNN.com. And folks, live with passion. Up next, the Diagnostics Trading Hour with Daryl Martin, here on TFNN. Now, 